the love of the Lord. As we read in the book of Lamentation chapter 3, verse 20 to 22, the love of the Lord never fails. His mercy is new every morning. His love is seen in the birds. They build the nest. You remove the nest because it's a problem for you. They don't tell other birds, no, 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 our nest is destroyed. I am so angry. I am so upset. So I will not stop the nest. No. They go and build somewhere else. That is thrown away. They don't get angry and say, now all my nests are gone. My days are gone. Now the time has come to lay the egg and I have no nest. So I will go to the sea, jump and commit suicide. I don't think they do so. Because the inbuilt nature which God gave it to them, don't give up. God loves you. Don't give up, for God never gives you up. If God never gives you up, why should you give up? Why should you give up? For your God has not given you up. Yes. So God came down to meet Adam and Eve. That's what we read in Genesis 3, 7. It is not they who came to God, but God came to them. Why? They have sinned against God. They are supposed to go to God. They are supposed to ask God. Love has no answers. Human existence will have many questions. But when God's love appears, all those questions disappear. Yes. The child cries because the brother has destroyed her toy. The daughter has got so many things to complain against the brother. The daughter has got so much to cry and show that she is hurt and wounded and so on. But the moment the mother comes and hits the babe, brother. The baby's complaint stops. Because the baby comes to know my mother is still with me. And that's what God does to his children. He rushes to tell each one of us he's still with us. As long as the breath of God is in us. God will continue to walk with us. Trying to pull us. Trying to hit those who hit us. And trying to keep us close to our bosom. No wonder people call you, Lord, shall I call you mother? Our father, our friend, what is your name? Yes, the love of God. So as soon as they saw the Lord, Adam and Eve, they were filled with the shame because of sin. They were filled with the shame, they were filled with nakedness. But God was not filled with the shame that why did I create you? Stupid you are. No, he never said. He was not ashamed of their sinfulness because he can't afford to lose them. He created them for himself. So he calls them, My son Adam, where are you? My daughter Eve, where are you? The voice of God comes down with great care. But noise of the heart is not prepared to meet God. The voice of the Lord 
reaches them with the love but the noises in their hearts doesn't allow them to meet the lord the enemy keeps our hearts with all kinds of noises that we may not hear the voice of god that's why god himself came love never complains love first listens love knows that something is wrong but love has the capacity to listen even when things have gone wrong so god asked adam where are you what happened they were hiding themselves they don't want to show their face but they don't know the creator of them for him the nose is also same the back also same he loves every part of us so they were hiding themselves suddenly he they found a hand because they have given only the back so god touched the back so they have to turn he could embrace them they were only blaming oh that lady which you gave me led me to sin oh that snake that cheated me to sin they are full of complaints blames adam doesn't want to look at the eve man uses the woman as a object of pleasure when things go wrong it is the woman who goes through the burnt she suffers man just to wash off his hands and goes away man is always tries to escape always tries to escape but the woman has to bear the child of the sin that's why god did not allow adam to complain about eve god did not allow him to proceed he said okay stop don't complain but find out what is the solution in your god you will find your solution don't dwell on your problem hold on to the solution that god gives to you hold on to god to find your solution many of the times we hold on to the problem and we complain and we cry we make everything dirty god says no more complain stop you are naked he kills an animal brings and gives to them you are trying to cover yourself with the leaves when the breeze comes leaves are going up you are trying to catch i will give you something solid you need not to hold on to he gives them the animals skin they could wear it the first shirt god first garment god gave it his heart might have been broken that he has to kill an animal and shed its blood to save man 
he knew by sin the blood is contaminated he knew from day one his own blood has to be shed in order to save you and me why there is no answer for why love as we read in first corinthian 13 verse 10 love bears all things love forgives all things love endures all things and love loves all things because he is love he began to all that he can do is salvation he wants to save man from the pit of hurting oneself blaming each other and trying to divide each other love unites love makes us to stand with each other one hand is one hand two hands are two hands three hands are three now god says you two i am three so three is with the three thread you put bible says is difficult to break so from now on i will be with you i will cleanse you with my blood and i will give you my spirit so now you your wife and myself my spirit my spirit will go with you wherever you go why because god is love because god is love that's why we read in john 3:16 god so loved the world that he gave his only son for us so love forgave our elders though they never asked forgiveness 